Alright, what's up guys? Here today to bring you, um, I got some more James Bond stuff, so here today to bring you a video on that. Okay, so to start off, we got some laser discs. First three were in another video of mine where I showed that I got my laser disc. Um, it's a GoldenEye, License to Kill, and Octopussy. And these three were bundled with the laser discs, that's the only way I could get these three. And that's why I now own a laser disc player. But that's okay, because I think it's cool. Um, the next uh, couple of them, uh, someone actually traded in. And there was a whole big box of them in our back room. And I just didn't think to go through it. And someone was like, oh my god, look, there's there's Goldeneye. And I was like, I already got that. But that made me think, I wonder if they have any other ones. And they did. I found the James Bond jackpot. So, with that being said, here is Tomorrow Never Dies. Which... I didn't even think they made on Laserdisc. I need to move because these keep sliding. Um, Thunderball. Goldfinger. The very first one, Dr. No. Live and Let Die. And You Only Live Twice. So yeah, I was super excited to come across all those. Um, it's a really, really great find. You have no idea how happy that made me. I even found the shadow on Laserdisc in that stack of stuff, which I'm a big shadow fan. So that was an even awesome, awesome retreat. Um, so let's see, CDs. I got the Best of Bond James Bond, which I found in our dollar bin. Um, it's definitely older than mine because I can't even get the focus right on anything. Well, it ends in Tomorrow Never Dies, and the one I already own ends in The World Is Not Enough, so it's an older version of this album. But I didn't care. I picked it up anyway for a dollar. And then this I found while I was looking through our soundtrack section, I was helping somebody. Uh, Goldfinger. God damn this lighting. There we go. And it goes back to being dark. Focus on something that you can see. There we go. But yeah, I was like, why didn't anybody tell me we got that? So, super happy I got that in. Just because I don't feel like redoing a whole video again, I also picked up the Quantum of Solace CD. <sighs> I knew I was going to find something I forgot. Oh well. So yeah, there's that. Uh, the next one is a DVD. It is Everything or Nothing, the James Bond documentary. Which, sadly, I learned after hours of online research, it is not available here. It is only PAL Region 2. So I bought it offline and um, I burned it to a disc myself. And then actually recreated a DVD cover that I saw. There was online, there was a Blu-ray cover, but it was tilted this way. And the back of it was tilted that way. So I couldn't just copy and paste. So I looked at it, found some photos, found some photos in the timeline of the, of the video. And I reconstructed it myself, which I don't think I did too bad of a job, I do say so myself. Um, so I took it as a fun little creative little hobby, and the DVD menu has music and menus and uh, thumbnails, and so yeah, I turned this thing that I thought I was never gonna get into a nice little fun creative project, and I had a lot of fun with it. Um, but it is a very good documentary, so if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching it. Uh, if you're in the UK, you could probably pick it up somewhere. If you're here in the U.S., uh, do what I did and find it online. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Um, and then I got some Blu-rays. It is the Bond 50 set. Even though I already owned all of them, it this cost me 100 bucks, but I thought it was worth it. Uh, the first one is like in silver, Bond 50, 1962 to 1981. And it's got these really cool situated here. Like every little page has a different like Bond actor on it and you know the year the thing came out and the Bond girl with it and it's just really 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 cool. I just could not pass this up. I passed it up once because it wasn't in our system and we couldn't sell it so it had to go back to the warehouse and get linked and then it came in again. I think that's the last page of this one. And it came in again, and 
I, I tried to resist as best as I could, but I couldn't. And then this one's in gold, and it's uh, 1983 to 2012. But yeah, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't resist not having it. It was just too awesome of a set to pass up. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. And then over the holidays, my brother, um, I bought him, but I told him, you know, he could give me money and that'd be his Christmas gift from him to me. And it was, I finally won six Ian Fleming's James Bond books and I'm reading through Casino Royale right now and I'm on chapter 10 and I'm loving every minute of it. And here they are. We got Casino Royale. Not quite sure if these are original pressings, I think they might be, or original releases. Um, and I've got some of these, uh, these are actually vinyl covers for my work so I can keep them nice because like the seams are cracking. The binding's cracking when I open it, so I'm kind of afraid to read them, but I really want to. But yeah, there's Thunderball and Goldfinger. That was my favorite John Connery one, so I can't wait to read that. Uh, On Her Majesty's Secret Service. For Your Eyes Only. And Live and Let Die. And now he wrote 14 books out of like the however they have now before it got. I think before he died and other writers took over. And I've got six here. I do plan on getting the rest of the, um... I can't do my math right now. The rest of them. Um, but that'll be for a later time. But for right now, I'm just happy I have the six. And they're relatively short. Only like 150 pages. 200 pages. So, um... Oops, sorry. I am breezing through Casino Royale. And I will jump on the next one as soon as I can. Uh, so... Yeah, so those are those. Um, and then I got two posters. I'm not sure if I showed them in another video or not. I don't think I did, so I'm going to show them now. Um, first one cost me 10 bucks. Daniel Craig's Skyfall poster. Own them all. Yes, I do. And I love it. And the next one was 60 bucks, but um, you'll see why. I mean, I think it was worth what it was. And that is Sean Connery, You Only Live Twice poster that is kind of big. As you can see, it takes up, like, almost half the door right there. But I saw that, and I was like, how often are you going to come by a Sean Connery poster in this day and age now? Daniel Craig, yes, maybe. Sean Connery, not so much. <laughs> so I picked those up. Um, but yeah, I think that was worth 70 bucks right there. But yeah, so that's the James Bond update. Um... Thanks for watching. Also, have a happy new year and happy holidays. I hope you all had a great Christmas. I know I did. I got tons of shit um, that I will show in a video game video that I already did. And there's some of it right there. Look at it all! Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see y'all next time.